Well, now to our series, Migrants in America. Tonight, a closer look at the West African population that's arriving here in New York City. While some people welcome the new arrivals, others are having a hard time accepting the influx of migrants. Fox Eye's Stephanie Bertini reports from Harlem. Central Harlem, West 116th Street, between Malcolm X and Frederick Douglass Boulevards, an area defined as Little Senegal years ago, has become home base for new migrants and asylum seekers from West Africa, like this woman from Senegal, who in French tells me she got to New York City the 7th of February. Through word of mouth, she says she learned she could find help at the Senegalese Association of America. The small office located on 116th has a newfound level of need. Traditionally, a place for Senegalese immigrants to get resources, now it's packed constantly, assisting migrants on immigration matters like asylum claims and other things required to settle in America. Mamadou Drame is the president of the association. He says the new demands on his office, fueled by the surge of migrants coming to New York, York City forced him to expand what's offered here. We usually do work from Monday through Friday, but we open Saturday and Sunday for the folks. Every individual has their own story, and on this day here in Central Harlem, this woman decided to share hers in her own words. In Senegal, I lived with a girl and my family didn't support it. I had problems with my brothers and sisters, she says, adding her sexual orientation was putting my life in danger. Let's take the example of Senegal that we know better. Um, if you are, let's say, a gay person, uh, you are most likely subject to a target. You can be stoned to death. Drame says the growing demand on his office is not only coming from Senegalese migrants, but new asylum seekers from different parts of West Africa. To mingle with your folks, to speak your language, you feel a sense of belonging. African migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border are among the almost 200,000 that have made their way to New York City since spring of 2022, many arriving in buses from Texas. The strain on city resources, including shelters, is being felt by all asylum seekers. Some of these folks are sleeping underground, train stations, outside. Language, we've learned, is an extra barrier for African asylum seekers. People were saying that they were stinking, they don't shower, but we just realized that the shelter system, they use a language that these folks don't understand. You're kind of talking in English or in Spanish because these people, they understand French or the local languages. There are cultural barriers too. Some of the shelters are really hard for some of our folks because if you're a Muslim and then the food that they offer in the shelter because they don't eat pork, they don't eat ham. Drame says the situation is causing more and more migrants from Africa to navigate towards not only his office, but the area of Harlem it sits in. Community does what community does. New York does what New York does. America does what America does, which is generally we like for it to welcome immigrants. Longtime Harlemite and Deputy Borough President Keisha Sutton James says to her, it's not surprising at all. She's lived in the area for decades. And they're doing the work that they can do without a work permit. So that's a lot of times delivery work. Yeah. have a lot of downtime. Right. So they are, as I'm told by um, Senegalese community leaders, as I'm told, they are spending time hanging out in between their deliveries you know, on the street, again, where they have, when I say on the street, I'm saying on the sidewalk and in the street, hanging out with, you know, other folks that they know. And 116th is generally where they're congregating, right by the Senegalese Association of America and right across the street from Canaan Baptist Church. Senior Pastor Thomas Johnson shares his take. I got to tell you, the wave came in like a tsunami. It didn't trickle in. One day, I pulled up into my parking space, and there it was. There they were, hundreds. The pastor says many are uncomfortable with the new faces. I don't go to 116. I used to go to 116. I don't. I avoid that area at all costs. Like Anita Elam, who has lived in Harlem for decades. It's so overwhelming. It's scary, but it is what it is. Why are you scared? 
I don't know them. It's just a lot of them. They're just all over the place. Community leaders confirm recent headlines of migrants committing crimes, like the group responsible for attacking two NYPD officers in Times Square, are fueling some of the concerns in Harlem. But Drame says the majority of those here are not making trouble, rather just looking for a safe place and acceptance. We exist in peace. Most of these people, they just run away from uh, being jailed, from repression, from persecution. The realities of their lives might not be apparent at a glance, but their presence is surely being felt as New York City continues to contend with its migrant crisis. They keep coming, and I don't see an end to this anytime soon. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.